separating fact from fiction. While in the middle of this COVID-19 crisis, scammers are on the prowl. Joining us by phone tonight is U.S. Attorney Jay Town. How are you, Mr. Town? Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Hope everybody is uh, social distancing properly. Yes, yes, we are. Um, first up tonight, we wanted to ask you, are you seeing an increase in the amount of scams? Also, are you keeping an eye out for price gouging? Sure. Well, I, I think that uh, the seeing these increases will probably play out over a much longer period of time just because people have to realize they're a victim first. So I'm not so sure that everybody uh, might have that realization just yet. But as far as price gouging and, and hoarding goes, the Attorney General of the United States, Bill Barr, uh, just recently with the president, uh, just a few, about an hour ago, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, was very clear that individuals hoarding supplies at an industrial level with the, enti the intent of disrupting the supply chain for the purpose of manipulating our markets and then ultimately deriving windfall profits or price gouging, they'll be getting a knock on their door very soon. And uh, my office has uh, designated a coronavirus coordinator, and he's a senior prosecutor in our white collar division and, and he teamed up with Secret Service and FBI and our two other agencies and our local and state partners to to make sure that we are protecting the public best we can uh, from a variety of the frauds that we are seeing across the country and that we're sort of expecting here in the Northern District. How, um, for people that may be watching this, how, if, if they feel like they are a victim of price gouging or they suspect that in their area, their neighborhood, what should they do? If you suspect uh, that someone is engaged in any illegal activity, but certainly in, in coronavirus-related fraud, uh, I urge you to contact the National Center for Disaster, uh, Disaster Fraud Hotline uh, and, or the tips at FBI.gov, which is the FBI tip line. You can also uh, contact our IC3.gov, which is our sort of online complaint forum uh, at the DOJ level. Uh, any, any, call 911 if you have to. Uh, we, we, are, we are at the ready, uh, and don't wait to be a victim. If you think something is, is fishy, um, and I say that with a PH, uh, then make sure you're letting law enforcement know because chances are you're not the only one that could suffer as a victim from that phishing scam, from that, uh, that the, you know, recently there was a fake cure that was put online in Texas, and we put a restraining order on that website, and then you can bet that the civil and the criminal divisions in that U.S. Attorney's Office are talking right now about holding those individuals uh, responsible. So, uh, and we'd be on the lookout for, uh, you know, folks uh, in, involved in chair, uh, what appear to be charitable functions or crowdfunding. Uh, you know, make sure they're legitimate um, and, and not some sort of non-existent uh, entity that's just looking to profit from what is our good American nature? Mm -hmm. A lot for people to be on the lookout for uh, when it comes to coronavirus scams. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Great advice. Be safe and healthy. Thank you so much. So what should you do if you think you have symptoms of coronavirus? First, call your doctor's office. Don't go to the emergency room or your doctor's office without instructions from your physician. Also, don't go there for testing unless your doctor tells you to. Contact the Alabama Department of Public Health COVID-19 hotline to find out about testing locations and options. That number is 211.